and on this one guys uh it's a little weird i mean it's very common on these ic buses iccs uh, lights uh headlights uh, parking lights they turn them off turn off the unit and all of a sudden the parking lamps just turn on by themselves uh you mess with the switch they'll go off and a couple of minutes later boom they're on again it just drains the battery stuff like that uh let me show you let me show you well guys uh this is the little switch as you can see it's off and the lights are still running okay there it's off it's blinked If you leave it there for a little while, it'll turn back on. They're still on. Still on. Yeah. This is a very common issue with these ICCE buses. Um, I've heard a whole bunch of people say all oh, the switches the switch itself is a circuit board in back of this panel and all these three switches work off of that circuit panel so the issue is not the circuit panel itself it's this little toggle let me uh, let me show you let me show you that little toggle basically it has little pegs in the back these little pegs actually touch a little switch on the uh, circuit board and when both them when uh, in the parking lamp position none of the little toggles are pressed that gives you parking lights when you turn it off the top one actually depresses the switch it turns everything off and when you turn headlights on the bottom one is applied the top one is released and that'll give you headlights so on the off position the top little button has to be depressed well these don't wear out what wears out is that little pivot right there that little pivot wears the button sits higher on the base and these little pegs are not making contact with those little switches and this is what causes your issue. Let me go ahead and uh, turn to this one and I'll show you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this plate, this cover, so that I can show you what the board looks like in the back. And you'll see the little uh, knob. Well, let me just take it apart and show you guys. Well guys, uh, I removed that cluster bezel to be able to give you a better look at these switches. So now, I mean, just thought we've got a clutter here. Let me go ahead and get all this junk out of the way. There. Now. Let me go ahead and remove this switch. Well guys, what I did here is I reached from behind. I pulled the little tab down so that I could actually pop this switch out. Let me show you. You see that little tab? I go from under it, grab it, pull it downward so it can unlock. And if you can see, if you press the top, it turns off. You press the bottom switch and your headlights go on. So basically this little top button, uh, I don't know if you guys can see, let me see if I can get a close up. There you go. You see there's a PC board behind there. The top button turns off your lights when depressed. When both of them are released, that'll give you parking lamps. And when the bottom one is depressed, it gives you headlights. So the problem with this is 
this is wore out here and here and that'll keep these little pegs from actually touching the switch and to install it it's super simple guys let me show you this is our old switch this is our new one to install it is as easy as just Set it in the middle and lock it in place. There you go. There you go. I guess this is going to be it for this video, guys. Uh, it was just uh, what we did this morning. So, I mean, it's been slow. School hasn't started. So, we're going to have, you're going to have to, well, hope you guys bear with us and uh, eventually we'll start getting some you know better videos of you know engine work stuff like that so well guys hope you like the video and uh well if you can like and comment all right later guys